Hey, welcome to Yogi's Garage. Yeah, as you saw in that intro, we've got a problem with one of my friend's cars, and he also drives a Porsche 996. So I've decided to go ahead and open up Yogi's Garage to my friends and family, because honestly, what I've been dealing with and I, what my friends have been dealing with here in Houston, Texas, is a severe shortage of trained mechanics who know how to work on Porsches, who are willing to work on Porsches. In addition, the rates that they're charging their customers, I feel are just through the roof, unacceptable. So when there's a job that can be handled in Yogi's Garage, who am I to say no to my friends or family if they're willing to help turn a wrench with me? So I've got two friends coming along, Bruce that you've already met, and another friend named Lewis who's bringing his black turbo. So we can take a look at that, and I've got some work I'm gonna do on that in a future video. So. Welcome to the show. I'm super excited. They're on their way in. We should hear them very shortly. And once we do, we'll start the show. So with that, let's fix it. We are here with Bruce, and Bruce brought his beautiful Carrera to us today because he's got a problem. Bruce, what's going on with your car today? Uh, I've got a front left wheel bearing that's making a loud whining noise. Oh, uh, okay. So that's what we saw in the intro in the video. Of right, that. Okay. Right. All right. So sounds like it's a pretty easy job, but I've seen some times when it's really hard to get these things loose. Yeah. But I think we're prepared with an Ugga Dugga, and then did you bring your thousand pounds snap on or is that pneumatic uh, that's pneumatic oh. so i left that but i've got a three quarter inch uh breaker bar and uh a slide hammer for pulling the, the bearing just in case it's just i can't do all the work myself because of a shoulder injury right so you had to bring it to you know the second greatest mechanic in houston right <laughs> part of course we'll use one that's in the uh in the, in the freezer. freezer yeah but there's one that's not for pictures so why do you need to freeze these it shrinks them down okay. so they fit easier instead of having to drive it in it should just slide in because it's cold right got it okay should sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious <laughs> Oh, ye of little faith. Look at him bringing his own tools. <laughs> like I would, case. like you need to bring your tools to this place. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just in case. Just in case that you might have a 10 mil that I don't have, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure. You got to hammer these in on the side? Yeah, I think that, so. Yeah, that's, I think that's what it is. It's like a castle nut, right? Almost like a yeah. castle nut. Yeah, look, it kind of looks like one. Before. Yeah. All right, obviously, we've got to get the caliper off next. Porsche makes it really easy to get your brake pads off when you're in the pit, in the pit stop, and you've got to swap out your brakes for whatever reason. You want, you want Bruce in your pit right here, because he's fast. <laughs> So that little sticker on the front of your um, caliper there, is that to kind of gauge how hot your rotor is? Right, tells you how, how hot your brakes are getting. All right, I'm glad you brought this. I don't think I have a slide hammer. So this is what you need to do to get the bearing out, huh? Uh, to get the hub off first. Oh, the hub, okay. Right. 
All right, so what are we doing here? So you took the um, the little short axle off, the CV axle. Yeah, I was hoping. Wait, you don't have a CV axle, axle up here. This is a this is a. It's C2. a stub axle that it just covers it, and it's used for a, a speed sensor. Ah, okay, all right. So that came out. I was hoping that we were going to pull the hub off. I think we're just going to have to keep slide hammering. Okay, it. all right. So you don't think we need to take it off the carrier? Or take this off. I think we're gonna have to raise the uh, <clears throat> pull over up from the carrier, all right, so that we can get the stub axle out, so we can drive the uh, the bearing. But out. that's after what we do here with the slide hammer first, right? Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we've look got at how nasty that looks. <laughs> we've got the inner bearing out. Oh yeah, that's why this thing was. Look at that. Yeah. That's a busted bearing, man. Yeah. Almost. That right here. There we okay. go. To get the inner bearing off, we've got to get this stub axle here out, but the strut tower is in the way, so we got to lower the carrier a little bit to clear it and we can pop this out and then we can get the, uh, get the bearing out. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's what had to come out. But you just had to take the coffin arm off, take the steering linkage off, take the drop linkage off, <laughs> just to get that out. And now we can get the carrier. Uh, we got that out, now we can get the bearing out. And finish it up, we're almost done. Correction, we're almost halfway done. Okay, I think we got it. Yes, all right. We just had to find the right size that would slide within this chamber here and then we found it and it worked. Yeah, see, look, there's a step up yeah. right there. Yeah. Off so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> this, take this all off and put it on a bench. Agreed. And then you can use a press. Yeah. But, you know, Yogi can't have everything. <laughs> so this is the old bearing. This should be covered like that on this side, it just popped off, right? Yeah, so we just have to get this off of here. Oh, is that all? Yeah. All right, well I have a vice if you think it'll help. <laughs> yeah, that might. I took the fire wrench and eventually took the Dremel to loosen up this cap of the bearing because it was really on there. Okay, so I think we're at a good spot now. We gotta to touch up a few little nicks here on the bearing, on the bearing surface, and then we'll put the, the new bearing on. All right. Okay, so we're up against the clock here. You can see this thing is frozen. And now we gotta pop this bearing in before it thaws out. Okay, bearing is in. You saw in that little video clip that uh, it got really tough. This is why you need a press or something like this. You can absolutely do it. Just make sure you eat your Wheaties because you're gonna need it. But, uh, and also lubing the threads 
certainly is a good idea. <laughs> Lubricant is your friend here. So now we're putting in this little dummy stud thingy and then we're gonna tighten everything up. Just a little mental note. This one didn't have a lot of scratches. Be sure you put your dust shield and your bearing cover back on before you put your hub back on. Don't be like us, we put the hub on. I forgot to put the cover on, both covers. Yeah, and those will bend out whenever we tighten it and torque it down. Okay. Okay, we got everything back in. The rotor and brake caliper are all torqued in, ready to go. Suspension's all touched up. Now we gotta torque this bolt in. And something tells me it's a big number. Bruce, what's that number? 340, 240. We'll have to look at the book. It's, it's all of them. It's all the numbers. <laughs> so we're gonna be here tightening this up. Bring it in close so you can see it. This is a, a torque gauge. So you can see, can I set it? I can also set it to beat, set right? Set it to beat whenever you get the free point. Okay. So then, 10, 100. Oh, come on, faster than that, let's go. There it goes. Set it on all the torque. All the numbers, two, getting there. Three. Oh, damn. I went around the sort I went around the van. <laughs> back, 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 back. Too late, I'm in the 40s. Gotta go around the horn. It's faster. Back, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I can go back. I can go back. I can go back. <laughs> it went all the way around. Almost. That extra five might hurt. Good. I'm already feeling it in my legs. Alright, that's good. Good thing dog. There you go. 340. Now try really hard not to lift your car off this. Okay. The jack. testosterone treatment yeah. works pretty good. All right, the car's on the ground. We're ready to back it out. I'm gonna do something special for you today on this video. We're gonna take these cars out for a spin and we're all gonna try our cars out and give us give each other feedback on what, what they like. <laughs> uh, 2002 Porsche 911 Turbo S, or Turbo, just a Turbo. I want to be working on his car, but I figured we could all try each other's cars out and uh, and see see what they see what they think.
right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm really happy that I was able to open up my garage to my friends and family. Uh, that's the name of the game for me at Yogi's Garage, is to help my folks out, to help my friends out, give everybody a chance to turn a wrench and learn that these kinds of repairs are oftentimes not as challenging or daunting as they may seem. So with that, thanks for watching Yogi's Garage. We'll see you next time.